Hello everyone. This is the first recording of this haphazard ass podcast that I have. It's definitely not one for children. Um, There's going to be a few things that you all get different from me audio wise these days. Uh, One of which is the podcast that will be on youtube.com slash MacG Productions LLC. That's my company's overall channel. Um, then you'll get something a little bit different on here a little bit later, but this one, this one is just all kinds of, it don't make no sense. It'll be my evening recap podcast. And right now I want to tell you about how these sons of bitches at Popeye's tried to kill me because they ran out of honey packets. Now, if you know anything about Popeye's, uh, hopefully where you live, there is a Popeye's fast food restaurant, or you might live in the area where there's the actually sit down dine in Popeye's. Nonetheless, they have biscuits as thick as any black woman you have ever came across in your life. And I'm in the middle of driving away from them now. So that's how real and raw these podcasts will be. I will podcast from wherever I feel like it. But yeah, I go in the drive-thru. It's two-piece Tuesday or Tuesday special day. Back in the day, which was probably, what, three years ago? Used to still be 99 cents. You could get a maximum of three orders of a mild or a spicy mixed two-piece. Cool. Well, it went up to $1.29. Inflation. Life happens. But what has not changed is the thickness of these biscuits. And there are memes and jokes all over the internet about how these Popeye's biscuits can take your ass out. If you don't have something to lube your throat down with. I'm not talking about a sweet tea or talking about you having a Coke or a big old cup of water. No. No, you need honey. You need honey. It should be absolutely illegal that they can retail these biscuits without honey. So... I am pull up, I go ahead and give them an order. I want the new $5 special, which is a two piece with a biscuit and a side. I added a wing because I'm a little bit hungry. Been doing homework, been editing videos, need to feast before bedtime. I get everything, the young lady takes my order. She swipes my card, they pass me the bag. I can smell the chicken, it's nice and fresh and everything. I'm excited, I'm hungry. I said, do you all happen to have honey? And she says, no. And I said, what the fuck? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Granted, I know this is probably a family friendly place and there might be someone in there with their children right now picking up dinner or getting ready to dine in. But you're trying to kill me. You, are, you, you personally tried to attack me by not having no packets of honey. How dare y'all? How damn dare y'all? You know what you serve. You know what you serve. I have choked out for less than a Popeye's biscuit. And I'd be damned I'm not going to eat this bad boy. If we ain't got no honey in the house, this was a waste. This was a damn waste. I could have gave this biscuit to somebody on the corner. I could have thrown it out the window, fed a bird. Bird would have choked, would have felt bad, but I wouldn't have witnessed it. This is not what I anticipated for myself this evening. This is not it. It's a few things that just aren't supposed to happen when you go to fast food places. And technically, I'm not even in the hood. I'm in the boonies. So I don't expect it to not have the shit that I need. I can see if I was in the hood and I go to a chicken place and they ain't got no chicken. Although unwarranted completely because what else can you retail? I understand that whole ignorance. Or you go to a burger joint and they ain't got no more burger buns or they ain't got no more burger meat. Like That I get. I get that. But I live between a Popeye's, a KFC, a Long John Taco, uh, that's a Taco Bell and Long John Silver combination, a Waffle House, and darn them all to hell, they're building a new Arby's just two lights away from me. I didn't even know people still ate Arby's. But um, yeah, that's what I'm being subjected to. And that's what I wanted to subject you to within, you know, a window of five minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little rant. It's all I bring to the table this evening. We'll see what I have for five minutes of your time tomorrow night. Bye, y'all.